Well, 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 it finally, finally, finally happened. Um, this is the NFL football show here on the Jailcast, and my name is Eric. Welcome. Um, but yes, as you can see by the hat I'm wearing on my head, I am an Indianapolis Colts fan. I live here right in Indiana, and it took them long enough. But uh, the Indianapolis Colts have finally, this is sort of breaking news to me, I just saw this, uh, the, the Indianapolis Colts have fired general manager Ryan Grigson. It's about freaking time. Uh, <laughs> if you're a Colts fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. You know that this general manager has not been very good for our franchise. Over the last few years, yes, he had he hit a home run with the draft when Andrew Luck was drafted. That's easy. I mean, anybody going into that draft knew Andrew Luck was the clear-cut best player in that draft. So, yeah, that was a that was a home run. Then he took T.Y. Hilton in that draft. Another, another good hit there, you know, and I still don't know if T.Y. is a number one receiver. He's really good, but I'd like to see them get, like, a big receiver who can catch the ball, like a Julio Jones or something like that. But anyway, uh, the rest of that draft, I mean, he got, like, Kobe Flaner, which did not quite pan out for us. Um, and I can't remember who else he drafted, but for the, the last few years, the drafts that Ryan Grigson has been under – have not gone very well, and the Colts have missed the playoffs the last two years, you know, like eight and eight seasons, like this last season here. And a lot of Colts fans are frustrated, and understandably so, and I am one of them. Um, there was a certain games this year where I would just kind of tune out and be like, okay, well, here we go. We're just not going to give our full effort here. And we go into games that just didn't feel like we were fired up. It didn't feel like we really cared to win. We just didn't have any passion. We didn't have any drive to reach that next level. It was almost like winning the division was enough. And uh, I always I always say the Colts are in a bad division. They play in the AFC South, which is absolutely poor. The Jaguars, the Titans, and the Texans are not very good, even though the Texans made a playoff this year, but it was because of the poor division. The Texans didn't – I mean, they won one game, but then they got throttled by New England for the most part. I mean, yeah, they, they gave New England a little bit, a bit more of a, a game than I thought they would, so I'll give them credit. But the thing with the Colts is they feel like if they win the division – I mean, they used to even hang division banners up into the rafters here. The Colts feel like if they win the division, they've accomplished something that gets them to the playoffs. Sure, but here's my problem with it: when you live, when you win a poor division and you play poor against those teams, even and against Jacksonville, the Tennessee, and Houston, you should be blowing those teams out if you want to even have a chance in the playoffs. But they even lose to those teams sometimes. They don't put up a good fight. So once they finally make the playoffs and they go one and done, they get they, they get beat real quickly and they wonder, well, what happened? You know, well, here's the problem. You lose to poor teams or you struggle against poor teams. When you get to the playoffs and play the good teams, you're going to lose. And a lot of that problem falls on the team building. Some of it's on coaching. I'm not going to totally let them off the hook here because Chuck Pagano has not done the greatest job either. But some of that could be due to what he's been given from the general manager here when it comes to player personnel. Um, so if they don't get rid of Chuck Pagano, which it doesn't sound like they're going to, I'm okay with that. That's the lesser of the two that I wanted to keep here. Um, but Grigson being gone is only a good thing for the Colts. I think that is going to be a major improvement no matter who they bring in. They have been talking with Peyton Manning. Yes, that Peyton Manning to uh, be involved in football operations. Now, that they've, the fact that they have fired Ryan Grigson today, does that mean Peyton Manning is going to come in as general manager? That I don't know. I've not heard. Uh, but him involved in some form or fashion would be would be good for the Colts, I think, because Peyton does know the game. He knows defenses. He know, obviously knows the quarterback position and offense. So if nothing else, his knowledge would be an asset to the Indianapolis Colts, no matter what role you put him in. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't know. I, I don't see Peyton as a coach, really. I just don't know if – I mean, he has the ability, I think, but we've never seen him actually coach an NFL team. So I don't know if the experience would be there just yet. But, you know, something behind the scenes or, you know, maybe an assistant coach even, I could see him doing something like that. So, But anyway, that's speculation at this point. Peyton has not said he was going to do anything just yet that I'm aware of. Uh, but uh, hopefully maybe that will change. But as for now, Ryan Grigson being gone, I repeat, Ryan Grigson has been fired by the Indianapolis Colts. Um, so I, I see improvements on the horizon. That's a good start. Uh, Jim Marseille finally woke up. Um, so, again, a head coaching change might happen, but I don't see it happening this year. But that's the case. That's I'm okay with that. We're, there is a change being made there, and it needed to be made soon. Andrew Luck is in the prime of his career. He is, you know, right now, about five years in his career, his talents are being wasted behind a poor offensive line. He has cert he has a couple okay receivers, but a lot of them drop passes all the time. He's got no defense. 
I mean, he's got no pass rush to help him out. You cannot expect him to do what Peyton did for years and just cover up all the mistakes. Peyton was that good. If Peyton Manning would have had a defense, a run game, you know, I mean, he had okay, he had pretty good offensive lines a lot of the time. But uh, if he had all that extra help, imagine how many Super Bowls he might have won here in Indianapolis. But because of that, those holes on the rest of the team, granted, contracts have a lot to do with that. Uh, and Andrew Luck is getting paid a good amount of money here. Um, but I believe it's been structured a bit differently from Peyton Manning, so hopefully they can actually help Andrew, you know, get some stuff around him. Frank Gore's great, but Frank Gore's not getting any younger. He needs a running game. He needs to get a young physical runner back there. I feel like we need to get a big time number clear cut number one receiver. T. Y. Hilton makes a lot of good catches. He's a speedy guy. He he I think he led I believe he led the league this year in yards and yards, you know, produced here. But the problem is T. Y. Hilton only had six touchdowns. That's not good. That's that's not enough. Um, so th there's room for improvement on the offensive side of the ball. On the defense, ugh, pass rush is a key. We have to pressure the quarterback. Um, and you know our secondary has not been the greatest. And you know just some of our tackling is horrible. You know just a lot of it. A lot of that. Has, some of it is due to coaching. And I would like to see Chuck Pagano, as long as he stays around, I would love to see him get fired up on the sideline. You know, not just be like, "Good job, guys. You did a good job." You know, come on off the field. We're going to get him next time. You know. No, I want to see a coach who actually yell at his players. Somebody who gets fired up like Jim Harbaugh did. I actually wish Jim Harbaugh would come here and coach for Indianapolis, but he's got a good job up here at Michigan. Uh, but uh, I just feel like we need somebody to light a fire under the Colts players because they go out there like, you know, they have no drive. And Pat McAfee, the, pun the punter for the Indianapolis Colts, obviously had a strong opinion on the firing of Ryan Grigson today on his Twitter. This, this is a quote from his Twitter. Uh, it reads, Thank God. Okay. So, and, and he also sent out another tweet that said unwarranted arrogance, quote unquote, just ran into a brick wall card called karma. So <laughs> Pat McAfee never wanted to mince words or anything like that. Uh, he's also a comedian, which I hear he's absolutely hilarious too. And obviously if you've seen any of his tweets and things like that and stuff he's done on the field, he, he's hilarious. Uh, but uh, obviously that shows you right there. If a punter is coming out saying that this guy has been causing trouble, you know, obviously the players don't like him. Uh, he, uh, granted, he's one player. He doesn't speak for the entire team. But that right there is enough for me to say, okay, this guy is an issue in the front office. And it, you can even see it last year when Chuck Pagano and Ryan Grigson were renewed for contract extensions. Ryan Grigson just had this look on his face like he was just ticked off at the world. He didn't like the fact that he looked like he, I don't know if they was telling him what to do and he didn't like it. I don't know, but it sounds like he had some arrogance about him, and that's just something the Colts team does not need. And that's not something that the Colts have really been built on before in the years with Tony Dungy and things like that. It was always very humble, you know, trying to, you know, just better the team. And so I don't know what exactly is going on up there, but uh, this here is a good move. I'm absolutely thrilled to hear it. Um, I'm looking forward more now towards next season. Obviously, it's going to take some time. It may some time. It may take a few years, a couple seasons to get things fixed around here. Uh, but this is a good start, and I cannot wait for the next season. And I hope that finally Andrew Luck will, you know, get into the big game like you know Matt Ryan is right now, you know, playing in the NFC Championship game. And I know the Colts have been to the AFC title game before with Chuck Pagano, uh, so I would love to see them get back to the prominence here and hopefully bring home another title here to Indianapolis. Well, that'll just about do it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like what you saw here, please comment and like this video. And you can also subscribe to the Jailcast on YouTube uh, by searching for Jailcast there. You can also find links in the description of this video for my Facebook and Twitter. Or you can go to Facebook.com slash Jailcast. Or you can find me on Twitter at Eric Jail. So until next time, thank you for watching. God bless.